So Gabi, we're going to talk about your GI ASCO abstract because you've actually looked into the dollars and cents behind this. But what do you think in ter terms of economic considerations comparing Fulfirinox and GemNab? So uh, obviously, Joanna, we all know that when a drug is generic, it's much cheaper than when a drug is not. Yeah. So we have here uh, basically gemcitabine, 5 fluorouracil which has been on right around since 1957, and arinotecan and oxaliplatin, all of these are generic drugs. Naturally, they are going to be cheap. And we have nab paclitaxel which is a very new agent. Um, and of course, it's going to be more expensive. Now, when we look at the cost overall for a regimen, we, we look at the drug cost per se, but we look at the administration cost, the infusion, the supportive care cost, et cetera, et cetera. So again, um, in, in the poster, the small poster that I presented to, uh, today, we analyzed the cost of um, gemcitabine apaclitaxel versus gemcitabine with erlotinib. And um, we came up with, you know, based on Medicare costs, about, I think it was 24,000 or so for, for a four months average uh, regimen. And that's the reason that on the impact study, uh, the median number of, the median treatment duration was four months for patients. So that's about how much it costs per Medicare cost. Uh, again, different institutions may have different dollar amounts. Uh, I know that in my institution, we're talking, you know, for Phoenix being about 20% cheaper than, than Gemini Paclitaxel. But then you have to add, again, the growth factor support, the infusion, the hydration that you have to give the patients, and that is not included in the cost. So overall, I think, again, we, we come to this not much difference uh, in, in the cost because you have to add the growth factor, the, the supportive care medications. Very good, very good. Okay, so now what about our patients that come in that have a poor performance status that you wouldn't trust giving um, Gemnab or Fulfirinox to? You know, Ramesh, what do you do? Do you modify the regimens? Do you do a full fox? Do you do a cape? Do you do a gem? What's your, what's your go-to? So, um, I think uh, it also depends on whether um, somebody has multiple comorbidities, mm -hmm. CHF, uh, diabetes out of control, stroke, um, and in that kind of patient, I think it will be very difficult to tolerate combination therapy. So my uh, usual preference is single agent gemcitabine or even capecitabine or even supportive care, which I think is very reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a group of patients where uh, symptoms have uh, condition has deteriorated pretty rapidly due to tumor bulk. I think we see that in a month, 30, 40 pound weight loss, um, and, and they were very active before. In that kind of patient, uh, we generally will use na gem nampaclitaxel, I think, uh, with careful attention to supportive care, side effect management. Um, uh, in some of those patients, I think you can reverse or slow down the disease. Very good.